and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again today. I know you guys are probably all wondering the same thing right now. What should you use your predictor tokens on? Why should you use them? How do you get them? And what is the purpose of them? So I'm going to be covering all that in this video. We're going to how you guys can get free coins and free Super Bowl bundles, potentially, by using these predictor tokens. Guys, these are some of the best predictor solos and best predictor tokens and best predictor rewards we probably ever gotten, or at least close to it, right? In years past, we've gotten like, like the playoff promo, 2,000 training, 2,000 coins. That was nothing. These are some really fire predictor token sets. So I'm going to go over how to get them, how many you could potentially get, and where I recommend you put them. So with your welcome pack, you automatically get one for free. So save that token. That's going to be that's gonna be really useful right there. That's, that's big, actually. We got one for free. Now, beyond that, what are they used for, guys? So I'm going to go over to the sets, show you guys what they're used for. Predictor tokens, essentially, it's like gambling in real life, right? Predictor tokens are like... Let's say in real life, it's like, do you think the Niners will score 30 plus points or below 30 points? Like, I put my token there. If that happens, you get coins. It's like a lotto ticket. It's very simple. But it's like an educated, it's like an educated though. It's not like a random guess. So there's 25 total sets. So you could use one token to say the Chiefs win. If the Chiefs win, you get 8,200 coins. If they lose, they get 25 coins. Then you could do 49ers win. If they win, you get 9,000 coins. And so you go in, you put your one predictor token in, that's it. So most of these are all one, as you guys can see. Only two of them, I believe, are more than one, and that is going to be the last two, which I really do like, are the all-ins, which is pretty big. Those are the bundles. I'll go over all that. Pretty much this is where you're going to put them. So let's say you think that Raheem Mustard will get the first touchdown of the game. You put your token in. If you guess right, he does. you get 38,000 coins. And you guys get about, I think we get a total of 15. So you could potentially do, you could do almost all of them. Realistically, you could do almost all of them, and some most of them are bound to happen. You could do almost all of them. I recommend you do all the big ticket ones because at the end of the day, right, is the 8,000 coins worth it? I mean, maybe if you guess all the little ones and you get, like, you do both of these and then both of these, you're guaranteed 20,000 coins. Maybe you do both of these. So, like, let's say you could do both of these. So, two, four, six, um, eight. So, I think MVP, one of the quarterbacks, is pretty smart at the end of the day. They obviously think Mahomes has a good chance because they made him really cheap. But you could say you could do all these right here. You're guaranteed about 35K, which is not what I recommend, but it's possible. Now, Let's head on over to where you guys get these from, because now at this point, you guys are probably hyped, and you're probably wondering where you get them from. But before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, for awesome content, awesome tips, awesome Madden stuff. Make sure to join the family. Let's get to 20K as quickly as possible, boys. We're super close, about 1,400 subscribers away, so let's make it happen. Maybe, actually, maybe a little bit more than that, maybe 1,600. Make sure to comment down below what you guys are going to use your predictor tokens for, and wh like, what is the best ones you guys think? Help out the community down below, give us some feedback, and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. For this fire content today, can we get 500 likes in this video? Everyone watching now, spam the like button. Helps out the channel tremendously more than you guys know. Now, let's head over to challenges. So, this is where you get your predictor tokens from. You head on over all the way up to Super Bowl predictor and right here. So, head into these challenges to earn a predictor token. Use them in the Super Bowl predictor sets. These expire on February 2nd. So, you guys got to get these done. You have about, what, four or five days? More than enough time. So, there's a total of 14. I believe each one gets you one token. So, 14 challenges, 14 tokens. How hard are they? Shouldn't be too hard. Bills are favored to win, but you got a chance to show them what uh, what for. Score eight points this quarter. Simple. Put it on hard. And there's no bonus requirements, which is super cool for a lot of these. I think towards the end there are bonus requirements, maybe. Yeah. At the end, no, no, they're not. Okay. This is this is really simple. You just gotta go in, take the lead, beat the Colts. Fourth quarter. They're all like they're all like moment solos. They're very simple, very quick. You can probably get these done. I'd say in about a little over an hour. You guys play them straight. Maybe a little bit more than that, depending on how slow you guys play solos. If you win them all straight, obviously, it's going to be pretty quick. So you get 14 there. You get, so you have a total of 15 to work with. Now, I'm going to show you guys the best ones I recommend, in my opinion. So setting over to these, and I'll show you guys the safest ones, the riskiest ones, and the moderate ones. Now, I think, personally, you want to risk it for the biscuit here, guys, in my opinion. Because here's the thing, right? Let's say you play it entirely safe. Entirely safe. At the end of, where, where the hell am I? How did I get in here? Let's say you play it entirely safe. And you do all these right here. Best case scenario, you end up with like 35k. It's not worth it. So the first two that I think I'm gonna be doing both of them. You guys have four. You guys have 15 tokens. I think I'm gonna be doing the Chiefs all in and the 49ers all in, right? Think about it. The Chiefs winning by 13 points. So there's a chance that if, it, if the Chiefs are winning, I think they're up by 13. Like the Chiefs are a high-scoring offense. Chiefs score 40 plus points. Is it risky? Yes. But have we seen have we seen the Chiefs score 40 plus points? Yes. 49ers, 137 or less rushing yards. Possible. They held Derrick Henry to a low number last week too, or two weeks ago. They did really well as well. I think that's it's all possible. But at the end of the day, right? You want the big reward. So I think I'll probably be doing the all-in bundles. 
Now the 49ers all in. 49ers won by 13 points. Another high scoring offense. Very possible. 49ers scored 35 plus. Very possible. If the 49ers are killing them and their defense holds up, which they have a really good defense, but home is less than 305 yards, I don't know how possible it is, but I want the best possible chance to get the best reward. So let's say I would probably use six of mine here. That leaves me with a total of nine left. Now remember, these are all ones, so you can still do a lot. 49ers, 137 plus rushing yards. It's a decent one, but for only 8,700 coins, I don't think it's worth it. George Kittle, 70 plus receiving yards. Solid one again. 54. I want the ones with the big tickets. So let's say first, first, uh, first TD... Is this first TD the field goal? First TD the field. So the first touchdown is anyone other than these players above. Um, I think it's very unlikely that one of these players don't score the first touchdown, although it's possible. But that's not a bad one. This one's not bad, because if you think about it, what if, like, a no-name catches it? Like, that no-name tight end, or, like, uh, Daryl Williams, or LaShawn McCoy, if he's healthy. I don't even know if he's playing. You guys get the point? Honestly, I'd probably do this one. This one's smart, because if none of... There's a better chance, right? That, let's say you take George, Travis Kelsey, right? There's a better chance that Travis Kelsey doesn't score it than there will be of a random player catching it. I think there's a better chance, or I should say, there's a better chance that out of all the 30 other players that potentially score, it's not one of these guys. And these guys you have to do individually, all of them. Now, MVP. I think Mahomes MVP is a safe one, although not a lot of coins. MVP Raheem Mustard's a safe one as well, in my opinion. I think that's a good chance. Now, I'd say if you guys want to play it like real safe, if you guys want to play it, I'd, I'd recommend you do the all-ins just in case because those five times Super Bowl fantasy bundles, that's huge. You can get 10, 10 bundles. I wonder if that means a bundle or like just five fantasy packs. That's probably what it means, right? Well, yeah, a five times Super Bowl. Okay, so that's 10 total packs. If, well, you can't get both. It'll be one or the other. That is five. Five packs. That's that's huge. I mean, or if you want to if you want to play safe, you could just pick one of them, right? You could pick one of them that you really want. Now let's, let's go over, right? Which ones I recommend doing. So, Chiefs win or 49ers win. If you want to if you want to get your free 9,000 coins, pick both of them. Heads or tails again, you can pick both of them if you want your free 9,000 coins. Chiefs score first, 49ers score first. Um, again, you can pick both. Want to be safe? Now, who do I recommend here? I probably take the Chiefs, but it depends who gets the ball, right? At the end of the day, it depends who gets the ball. I think Chiefs defense has been pretty solid, so is the so is the Niners, but Chiefs have a knack for scoring, especially early, even a field goal. I probably end up taking the Chiefs. 49ers are a much, in my opinion, 49ers have less probably experience overall in comparison to the Chiefs. Chiefs have not made a Super Bowl before, but their coach is experienced, very well experienced, as well as the other coaches. But Andy Reid's probably more experienced. Probably won't falter under the lights as much as the 49ers might to begin with now mvp i don't know if i touch this one 9,000 coins isn't worth it for the chance that mahomes gets it although i think mahomes will get it if they win mvp obviously these guys get you a lot more coins i don't think travis kelsey will win mvp there'd be a better chance of raheem mustard doing it because they're a heavy running team now first touchdown i don't know if i touch these honestly i think i touch the field i'd probably do the first touchdown the field that's one of them i do and then i'd probably end up doing raheem mustard for one of them raheem mustard uh, first touchdown the field, and then probably maybe George Kittle. That's probably the only two I'd end up doing. Or maybe Travis Kelsey, I should say, not George Kittle. Now, stats. Mahomes, 305 passing yards. I think that's a safe one. I'd do that one. Tyra Kill, 79 plus receiving yards. I think that's another safe one. Travis Kelsey, that depends. He could just be a touchdown monster. Kansas City, 88 plus rushing yards. I don't know if that's a safe one. Grub, let's see. Raheem, uh, let's see. San Francisco, 137 plus rushing yards. Probably pretty safe, but I don't I wouldn't take that because you never know if they hold them and they have to they become the passing game. Now, so like I said, so you have 14, you have 15 total. I'd use six here. I'd use one here. That's seven total. I'd probably use one here and then one here. That's nine total. And then you could even do the MVP as Raheem Mustard, which will leave you with 10. You could do MVP Mahomes 11. Or you could take away the MVPs. You could just end up doing two here and two here. So if you want to get a safe return. So we're like a quick 20 to 50,000 coins. You can do all of these right here if you want. All of these. Make sure that, because if you do all these right here, you're guaranteed about close to about 25,000 coins. And you can do the all-ins, which leaves you with still about three left, which then you could toss on the field. I think the field's a good option. The field, Kelsey, and Mustard. Those are the safest ones. I don't really like the stat ones. The stat ones don't give you a lot of coins. They really don't. If you really want to, like, if you're going to play Risky Risky, and you want to really get your bang for your buck, honestly... You could do all these MVPs right here, all these first touchdowns, the fields, and then the all-ins. That's going to be your best return. Safe, you play the first ones, all six. Guys, I know that was probably all over the place. There's a lot to go over there, but I hope you guys got the gist of it, kind of my opinions on all of them. I think 
there's the two strategies and i went over both of them safe's the top here risky is the bottom you can mix and match them really up to you and that pretty much covers everything thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy this video if this helps you guys out make sure to go down below hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell boys if you have any more predictor questions if you guys have specific questions i know i was all over the place there go down below comment it i'll get to you as soon as possible make sure to give this video a big thumbs up can we get 400 likes for this predictor token set video hopefully this helps you guys out spam that like button helps me out tremendously guys and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i'm out peace